Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Ricoh Theta Z1 once again. Because with the latest update of the Ricoh Theta Stitcher V2, the Ricoh Theta Z1 just got better, especially on the workflow. Judging by the official release note, there are three new features, the resizable windows, the batch mode, and the camera visibility options. But after playing around with the Rico Cetus Teacher V2, in my opinion, there are altogether five new features about this new update. And I will explain all of them to you. My name is Yu Chun Guo, 360 photographer lover and specialized in one shot 360 photography. If you want to start over and master your one shot 360 camera beyond professional, this channel was made for you. Okay, back to the Rico Cetus Teacher. Let's talk about these new features one by one. Number one, resizable windows. Yes, the resizable windows is a, a badly need feature for most photographers and most uh, customers right now. We do have a very large display and with 2.7K, uh, 4K resolution, and even 5K resolution. And with such high definition screen, with the resizable windows, we can see every detail by the first glance. We don't have to zoom in and drag it to the different part. Now we can see every detail in very high precision with our high definition display. It's long been weighted by the professional photographers. The number two is the batch mode. Yes, the batch mode is by far the biggest update for the Ricoh Cedars teacher. And I remember back in the 2019, the IVRPA Belfast annual meeting, there are many Ricoh Cita users uh, to get together, complain to the Takeharu Toon and some other Ricoh guys. We want the batch process mode badly. And uh, from June 2019 to April 2020, it's about uh, 10 months, right? And actually the batch process mode have two options. One of them is automatically batch. The other one is batch one by one. If you trust Ricoh Cito Z1 and you want the fastest workflow and everything judged by the Ricoh Cito Stitcher automatically, you can choose the batch processing automatically. So you will select all the raw data in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom, export and edit in the Ricoh Cito Stitcher. And the Ricoh Cito Stitcher will first pop up a Windows for you to, to do the settings and it will apply the same settings to all the other files. And normally I will automatically correct the horizontal line. The stitching distance is set to auto. <clears throat> and after that, you can auto stitch all the files one by one. And you can see a progress bar from 0% to 100%. And after that, you will end up with dozens of perfectly stitched panorama. And if you do want to have a precise, customized settings for every one of the image in this batch queue, you can choose the batch one by one. Settings, render, settings, render, settings, render. This workflow is also automatically because after each render, the windows will pop up again for you to change the settings. So for the batch mode, I think now with the Ricoh Cita Stitcher V2, the batch process is by far the best batch tools for the Ricoh Cita Z1. Next one is the camera visibility. For the camera visibility feature, we do have this feature on the Ricoh Cita app. Uh, personally speaking, I didn't quite get an idea of the camera visibility because uh, if I turn on the camera visibility, it's not guaranteeing that I will get a perfect result. I have to go back and forth, turn on and off and make comparison and to judge which one should I choose. Technically speaking, the camera visibility is the stitching algorithm will automatically make a crop, the crop out the camera body and to stitch them adaptively to the spherical panorama. And that will help you make the smallest the nadir part. If you, uh, if you should handheld invisible selfie stick or you should recall C31 directly on the table, right? That will give you the, the smallest the nadir. You have to go back and forth and choose one of the best settings for your situation. And in my experience, for some of the shot with camera directly on the table, it works really great. But for some of the photos, it doesn't work really well. So it depends on how you use it. And if you could use this camera visibility feature wisely, 
uh, that will save you some time in post. And finally, let's talk about the Dual Fisheye plugin compatibility. And the Dual Fisheye plugin is a must have plugin for every one of the Ricoh Cita Z1 users, especially if you want to have the fastest workflow, the high quality image in your virtual tour jobs. And special thanks to Yoshi Hirota, the developer for the Dual Fisheye plugin. And I have made several videos, uh, organized all the videos in the Dual Fisheye complete guide playlist in my YouTube channel. You can refer to this link and see this is really the best plugin for the Ricoh Cita Z1 by far. Stitching the HDR DNG file with the Ricoh Cita Stitcher is always a tricky job. My conclusion about the Ricoh Cita Stitcher V2 is that the compatibility for the Dual Fisheye plugin remains the same as the previous version, which is 1.10.1. So nothing has changed about the compatibility. There are uh, altogether two workaround solutions to get the Ricoh Cita Stitcher V2 to work with the Dual Fisheye plugin. One of them is to rename in Lightroom and Stitch in Ricoh Cita Stitcher. The other one is the, to post process in Adobe Camera Raw, export in TIFF, and import back in Lightroom and Stitch in Ricoh Cita Stitcher. So both workaround solutions are very tricky. And I have made a workaround step-by-step -step video in my YouTube channel. You can find the videos here. And I hope, I do hope that Ricoh Cita developers could see my channel, could see this video, and make an update in the future version for the perfect compatibility with the Dual Fisheye plugin. Last but not least, I have a great news about the Dual Fisheye compatibility from the 360 Rumors Mike Tai. On Facebook, Mike Tai has sent me a private message and told me that the initial release 1.00.4, this initial release Ricoh Cita Stitcher has the perfect compatibility with the Dual Fisheye plugin. HDR DNG file. And I have downloaded and tried myself. It works really well. I don't know what is happening of the later version of the Ricoh Cita feature, but I do hope that the Ricoh guy could make a further investigation and make comparison before the initial release and the V2. What on earth is happening for the loss of the dual fisheye compatibility? Now for, on the internet, it's very hard to download the initial release back in May 2019. And I will put the download link for the initial release Ricoh Cita Stitcher uh, download in the description. You can download and install and you will get a perfect compatibility. Mm, but with initial release, you don't have the batch process, you don't have the camera visibility option, and you can't have a resizable windows. So yeah, you decide which one to choose. But I do hope that in the future, we can have a uh, upgrade version of maybe 2.1, 2.2 that have a perfect compatibility with the Dual Fisheye plugin because the Dual Fisheye plugin is really the best plugin for the Ricoh Cita Z1 by far. I do have one more thing for you. Uh, if you look carefully on the pop-up windows for the Ricoh Cita feature, we do have a button called Help on the right. And I do hope you can click on Help and you end up with opening a document written by the Ricoh Cita developers. And the document is not very long, and there are many troubleshooting tips and tricks for the Ricoh Cita feature. I think if you could go over the document, that will help you make a better understand about this great Lightroom stitching plugin for the Ricoh Cita Z1. And I suggest everybody go and watch that document. That will help you make progress really fast. Okay, to wrap up in this video, we have talked about the every update, every new features, and the dual fisheye compatibility with the Ricoh Cita Stitcher V2. And I hope you can learn something, and I do hope you can improve your photographic skills on the Ricoh Cita Z1. And I do hope you can make the most of this great camera to capture more amazing photographs with the camera. In the future, I will keep investigating further in the Ricoh Cita Z1 and share with you some more tips and tricks from this camera. That's all for this video. I hope you like it. And if you like it, please thumb up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye.